Hi guys, thank you so much. My name is Alphonse Juma and I'm going to cover how to blog on Pulse City. I'll divide this into different sessions. The sources of blogs, where do you get them from? What is the difference between a blog and a post? Then we look at locating the blog menu on the website and how do you post the blog? What do you put in the title, the description, the body, and what are the topics to write about? What are the categories? What are some of the tags or thumbnails or categories? And then we look at how to earn from blogging. I mean, what are the limitations? How do you make your withdrawal after making some money? Then we look at examples of blogs that get declined. So for the sake of this, let me go straight into it. Sources of blogs. Uh, there are basically two sources of blogs for you before you think about writing on Pulse City. First thing is, is that blog original? An original blog is a blog that is just coming from you. You're the first person to post that blog on Pulse City. So in that case, because it's original, just give it the heading, give it the description. And please, you can either write it somewhere and then you post it, or you can simply post it when you are on Pulse City. And the second option is the copied or the lifted blogs. Basically, these are blogs that you are copying from another place. So it can be a blog about politics or it's some news that's just come out and then you've just seen it in some other website. So what you need to do with that kind of blog is you need to make sure that it's not duplicated. That's point number one. And just run it through the website on that particular area. So when you are on Pulse City, just make sure that that blog is not duplicated. So you simply go here and then you go to browse articles. And then from there, just search on the article here. So it can be an article about politics. So just make sure that heading is not duplicated or someone else has not written about it. In case someone has written about that article, then that article will be declined. So you have to make sure you do that. The second thing you need to do about the blogs that you are lifting from somewhere else is you need to make sure that you edit paragraph one and edit the last paragraph. So those have to be edited and then after that you can just copy it and you can just post the blog. So it's that simple. And where do you get the blogs from? You can always get them from any source. If it's a breaking news, get it from their website, edit paragraph one, edit the last paragraph and then you post it after searching and making sure that no one else has written about it. But remember I've said if it's something that you're the original author, then you don't need to search anything. All you do is write it. So the next thing I'll take us through is uh, after you have gotten this, where do you get it from? So I give an example. So I was just on Facebook and then I've met this and I feel, I feel it's something quite interesting. How you get older, you begin to zero. As you get older, you begin to zero down on your options. So I feel this is an article that I need to post. So the next thing maybe that comes in is what's the difference between a blog and a post, which is my next subtopic. So a blog has to be four paragraphs and above, and it has to be well written with the paragraphs well defined, like this is a blog. So there are some people who write on Pulse City. I'll give an example of uh, this person, for example. This is not a blog. Basically, this is not a blog. And this would get declined. I think I'll talk about that on what makes the blogs decline. So we will decline this. I can cover it in this session. And then I'll look at this as well. So this, again, we will decline. So, so long as we've met two of your articles that are worth declining, we'll simply decline them and then all of them will go because they basically you need some kind of training. Then I'll go through this. So give me your heart for I know what I will that I will love you. So that's good. And then the description is there. And then it's also written this. So number one is this blog is very short. So we will delete it because it's worth a post. So a difference between a blog and a post is a blog has to be four paragraphs and above. And a paragraph has to be complete. It has to be something that somebody can read. And then you can see clearly it's lifted from somewhere. So it's not edited. You have to make sure that you edit it very well because then this would not come in and it has to be four paragraphs and above. I'll go to again this. Again, if you find something like this, it basically means it was lifted from somewhere and it's not a blog. So something like this, instead of putting it as a blog, just go and post it because it's something that's short. You can just simply post it on city and that's it for it uh, something like this again from the same person looking very amazing this is a blog so one two three four is four paragraphs 
but just make sure that it's some the paragraphs it's something that somebody is can is it's something that somebody can read this is also a good one but it's not divided into uh, paragraphs so we we have an issue with that please just make sure you style it very well so that you consider the user as well so the next thing i'll talk about is locating the blog on the website so i'm going to write basically about this blog so i'll pick on this article here i'll pick on the article and this is an article that i'm just lifting so remember i've said such kind of articles they have their limitations so there are certain things i have to do edit paragraph one and edit paragraph two so i'll copy that and then move with it to the blog section so how do i locate so first thing is go to pulsity.com and then while you are at pulsity.com now you are able to post an article so let's do this together so simply come on the menu here and then under blog here browse articles or go to my articles so if i'm copying this from another place i just simply come there and search for it remember so i'm sorry i'm talking about how to grow old so i'll just search on that and see if someone else has written about it in this case no one has written about it so i'll simply write an article about it so go in there uh, create a new article and then it's simple the platform will ask me for the different sections of the article and that's the topic so i'll write about that so i need to put the title which has to be more than 10 characters and then i'll need to put in a description which should be more than 32 characters and then i put in my title here my article body so the next thing i'll do is just to post it so remember i've said this is an article that is coming from me so i can decide whatever thing goes on my description here so i'll just pick on it and then i'll put it on whatever thing goes on my title so that's my title and just make it look good and then i'll pick in this and put it on my description good so that's my description and that's my body so i ask myself are there paragraphs so yes there is paragraph one this paragraph two this paragraph three and this paragraph four the next thing because i've lifted it i need to edit paragraph so you begin to ignore some things i can say when you grow as you grow older grow older in life you become particular about the battles you pick so i can say and the part battles you go slow on you will you will be in the middle of an argument and deep down you wonder why do i care you stop persisting on things that time you no longer have you no longer have the energy to convince people otherwise if you are driving you drive up to optimum speed let others pass do we all so i can say do we all believe in this question mark then i'll go uh, to the last paragraph so growing older is the highest form of privilege so i can still edit this i can say in conclusion growing older is the highest form of privilege so that's my conclusion so i've again edited so just para first paragraph second paragraph so in this section now my title is good my description is good my summary description is good and my body is also fantastic so the next thing i'll do is to get now the thumbnail so getting the thumbnail all you need to do is to make sure you get something that quality so i'll talk about growing old so make sure the picture you're using doesn't have a lot of words just use a picture that's easy and that represents what you want to write about so if i was to pick on any of these yeah uh, i want to pick on this growing old I think it looks nice picture not busy so i'll simply save on that and then as i save i make sure i write the article the name of the article growing old i give it a description that's the same as my article so i'll save on that and then i come here and upload so there it is my article is there then pick on category and that brings me to the next article so there are several categories that you can write about you can write about cars and vehicles you can write about comedy 
economics and trade, education, art, entertainment, movies, games, history, life, natural, news, etc. All this you can write about. So for this, it's about lifestyle. And then the next thing I'll put is the tags. So this is basically the hashtag. So I'll say growing old. So growing old. Then you put a comma. And then you put uh, so old age. And again, you put a comma. Yeah, just something like that. So tags is basically what your topic is about. And then after doing all that simple, now just publish the article. And that's it, imagine. So that's how you post an article. The next thing you will see here is article is already uploaded. Now, when you try to post the same article, it will not go. So now let's look at some of the how to earn using points. So you can earn from Pulse City by simply using points. So you simply go here and then go here to my points. So for every blog that you write, you earn 50 points. And remember, for every 1,000 points that you reach is $1, which is 100 shillings. And what you need to do is now just pick on your articles, write them and get the 50 points. Now, after you've already earned your money here, you can simply pick here and then you withdraw that money. So the money will automatically be converted into money. The points will be converted into money and then you can withdraw. However, there are some of the limitations that we've already put on the blogs just to prevent somebody from spamming. First is just make sure that you write the blogs. You can always write uh, we believe that if you're writing okay, then between 5 to 10 blogs, you're able to write them comfortably in an hour. So, so long as your blogs are good, you don't need to even think about the limitations because you'll be earning still from it. Now, after you've written your blog, what do you need to do? After you've written your blog, please don't let that effort go to waste. Just come to the website itself and then take the blog and share it wide with different people. So once my blog is posted, it will automatically come here. As you grow older, you begin to, where's my blog? Yes, so this is my blog. So this is my blog and this is the article. You can see the hashtags are already here. So looking amazing already. So the next thing you do is just go to your blog and then share it. Just share it with other people. And I'll take us through how to share it. So you simply come here. Uh, of course, you've written an article. It's very beautiful. Please take your time. Come here and then share this article so that you're able to see how many people are able to comment on it. And with that, you can share by just coming here. Share to your timeline. Share to Facebook. Share to Twitter. Share to LinkedIn. Share to WhatsApp. Share to Pinterest. etc. So with that, now you'll just be checking how many views you have. And what happens then is, depending on the people who write engaging content that has more views we always look at the web the posts that are engaging and have more views now what we'll do next is to make sure that we we like give you more money on it the next thing is for you to be successful on blogging of course you can consider being a pro member and being a pro member now gives you more limitations into how many blogs you're able to write in a day so with that i hope you're good to go and I hope we're going to meet very quality, quality, amazing blogs. Uh, so what happens when your blog is declined? Basically, when you write and post, you won't see the money until it's approved. So always we have blogs that somebody who checks on the blogs and then approves them. But once you are already a good writer and you have already a good history, you can always apply uh, to be exempted from even the approvals and then you'll just your blogs will just go automatically. I hope that was useful. Thank you guys and all the best.